right. Um, so before I begin, if I offend anybody, I'm sorry, because I know this is an extremely touchy subject. A lot of people have different opposing sides on it. I just want to tell you my side, what I think. I completely respect your opinion and what you think about this topic. I'd like to uh, maybe give you an idea of my thought process. So the three points I'm going to be going over today are what is gun control, why it doesn't work, and I should have put that in hyphenations because in some parts of the, the world it does, and um, the solution. Um, so before I begin, I would like to give you a quote by one of our founding fathers, Benjamin Franklin. Quote reads, they that cannot give up essential liberty to obtain little temporary safety deserve neither liberty nor safety. Um, basically what this means is if you're willing to give up your rights for temporary safety, you should not have them in the first place. Um, this is kind of what the entire idea of the Constitution was uh, based upon here. This is just a quote. This is in Pennsylvania, uh, Pennsylvania 1759. My next topic is uh, what is gun control? So um, I'm not neglecting the fact that gun control doesn't work in some parts of the world it does, as I've stated before. But uh, gun control or firearms regulation is a set laws or policies that regulate the manufacture, sale, and transfer, possession, or modification of firearms. So uh, this is all coming from the Merriam-Webster Dictionary. Uh, what this means is there needs to be regulations on firearms in the United States or any part of the world that needs uh, gun control. Um, the idea is that if the firearms are regulated, uh, there will be less shootings or killings or mass shootings in recent months we've had um, a lot. So why it doesn't work, I should have put this in parentheses too. But um, this is all coming from Daily Wire. Uh, over 98% of shoot, uh, shootings happen in gun-free zones. Now, this is uh, this is kind of touchy because gun-free zones is in hyphenations because, of course, in gun-free zones, gun-free meaning no guns are allowed. Um, this does not mean that people can't take guns and just bring them into gun-free zones. But the problem with that is is you don't see a lot of shooting, uh, shootings happening at gun shows or anything like that because, of course, people will get shot. Um, uh, gun ownership does not correlate with higher homicide rates at all, actually, if you look at my um, citations. Uh, you can actually look at the statistics that higher homicide rates don't correlate with higher gun ownership. But it does correlate with uh, reducing police killings. And as the number of guns a person has increased, gun violence has declined in uh, the recent years. Um, so the opposing side, which I'm guessing a lot of you might be on, and I completely uh, understand your side, and you guys have great points too. Um, banning assault weapons entirely is kind of the uh, goal here and what an assault weapon is is uh, pretty much the main one that is used um, to depict assault weapons is commonly known as the AR-15. A uh, reason that people have a big problem with this gun is that it's a semi-automatic rifle, semi-automatic meaning as fast as you can pull the trigger that's when another round gets loaded into the chamber and can fire. Um, the magazine um, is extended from Maybe a handgun like the Block 19, which is um, 13 rounds. Uh, this would be extended to 30. But here's the problem. Um, supply and demand is going to increase in black markets if it's going to get banned. So uh, what that means is if assault weapons are banned entirely, the black market, which is used on the dark web to buy and sell illegal weapons, will increase and more illegal guns, such as fully automatic assault weapons, which means as long as you can hold the trigger, the gun's going to fire simultaneously. Um, those are going to be on the market still. They can still be distributed to any part of the world. Um, increased crimes involving uh, alternative weapons. See, that doesn't sound so bad, but the problem with it is 
is places like Great Britain and Australia have an increased crime rate due to their uh, stricter gun laws. Um, crimes are skyrocketing over about 66% uh, from gun control, uh, procon.org, I pulled these stats. Um, so now we can recap. Um, we learned about what is gun control exactly and why it needs to be regulated. Um, why it doesn't work and it does work in some parts of the world. And the solution, um, if we had a solution to uh, mass killings, we would have used it by now. Um, I can't offer a solution and I'm sure a lot of other parts of the world can't offer a solution to mass killings. But I think once we find a common ground and um, look after what other countries have done entirely, we can find a better solution to stop mass killings. Um, I'm not for mass killings, I'm just for the rights of gun ownership. I would never support something like that. And I feel like that's what maybe some of you have an idea of is like guns and killing is okay. That's not the case at all. Um, so conclusion, um, it's a touchy one because there really is no conclusion to solving gun violence entirely. Um, there's still violence with guns all around the world, even in some of the strictest gun parts or regulated guns in the entire country and in the world. Um, but I think once we find a common ground and what we can do to solve this issue, uh, America will be a lot better off. Thank you.